The world is not safe. There are predators out there. Some have their eye on you. They feast on the weak, the unaware, and those who are alone. To deal with this world, you not only have to be fast, smart, and work within your giftedness, you must be part of a team. What happens when a man's not on a team? He's not in a herd, he's not in a group. He finds himself all alone. Guys, we become really vulnerable to predators. We get picked off by things spiritual and physical in our lives. So I got to think about this, Roy, when we were thinking about the whole predator thing. And if it's so obvious that we need to be part of a team, why do men not join teams? What is the reason? Keith, this brings us to the world of many, many different excuses. I don't have the time is one of the major excuses. Yeah, that's true. And yet if every week uh, we handed out $100 bills for everybody that attended a meeting, how many do you think would come? Investing in your life and your family's life and becoming what God's called you to be has value. The second one is that this is not that important. Uh, unfortunately, you and I and other men do not carry the symptoms well of being alone. When we are alone, we become bored, angry, isolated, depressed. We fail to lead, and oftentimes, we end up getting ourselves in quite a bit of relational trouble. The third excuse is, I can't find a group of men. Uh, really, all you need to do is to start with three other men, and uh, it will grow over a period of time because other men will want to become part of your team as you grow together and demonstrate what it's like to have a manhood team in your life. The fourth one is, I don't know what we can do. And we at Knights of the 21st Century have fixed that because we have designed a program uh, for you and your friends uh, to get you to talk about what matters. So what would happen if men stopped using excuses? What if we got rid of those? What takes place? Well, one of the problems with men using excuses are they essentially is fairly dishonest. Uh, we it's must true. look past our excuses and realize uh, that we have parts of us that despite our deepest desire for a teammate, we're afraid of the process that's demanded of us to get men to become as close to us as our brothers. We men have parts of ourselves that are territorial, competitive. We believe we can do it ourselves, react aggressively at what is different from us, define toughness as not failing at all, and we don't like the fact that we need anyone. It's so true. So true. Keith, here's a tough question I've been pondering lately. Men say that women are sometimes hard to relate to. <laughs> or is it that they demand a depth of relationship with us that somehow threatens us by cutting through our excuses and challenges us to be men? And it's that is what we don't like about women. Yeah, I think you're right on that, Roy. I think that what we struggle with so often as men is we wonder, can I myself relate better to a woman if I can learn to truly relate to people, starting with men? And we're afraid of this. I mean, we just really are. And yet we've discovered that if we let guys do this, here's what takes place. You find out that guys start to themselves, get through the reluctance and the, and the fear of being in a group, and suddenly find that they're personally benefiting. They're changing in their lives as to how they do this. They also discover that in that change comes dramatic life changes from consequences from the past and moving forward, where they all of a sudden find themselves interacting at every level better, especially in their families. I think one of the coolest parts about this is, guys, we have to change the world in which we live in. When we enter a room, it changes because of who we are. That's what we were designed to do. See, when we get together at nights of the 21st century, we learn some principles that teach us how to live as men and change the world around us, whether it's our families or the much bigger community at large. In a world of predators, who has your back? Who can you rely upon who pushes you to be your best? Who comes when you call? Who is your team? We at Knights of the 21st Century have a men's curriculum that will help you understand how God designed you, affirm the value of your call, and create your manhood team. Check us out at knights21.com or call us at 1-800-777-0305.